A beautiful summer weather for this last day of July. Yeah, Brian Goddard here to tell us what we can expect for the beginning. I can't believe it. August. Can you, I know August like that. Summer is done. No. Just don't, don't, oh, just don't yes. put any snow Let's in the Let's put the parking yet. brakes on that oh, just okay. for a little. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking. Almost okay. finished. We're going downhill, though, yes. Uh, look at this past week, though. Unbelievable. 85 on Wednesday. This weekend, just gorgeous. 76 on Saturday. 82 on Sunday today. 84 degrees. Uh, and for the folks that own these beautiful boats in the marina in Port Washington, if you don't want to use them on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday day, we here at Channel 4 would love to use them before you go before we come into work. Just give us a call. Uh, some rain showers in the central part of the state. Those are fizzling out from Rapids to Stevens Point down towards Watoma. Uh, they will not be affecting us, but you are noticing the clouds up to the northwest of us. That's all you will see from that. High pressure has brought us the great stretch of weather the last four days. It is now slowly moving off to the east. It will re be replaced by tomorrow night with this cold front moving in. That will bring us a chance for some showers and a few rumbles of thunder after sunset tomorrow evening. So the daytime hours tomorrow look great again. Upper 70s to lower 80s, 77 West Bend, 79 in Watertown, and it is 82 down in Kenosha. The wind has been out of the southwest and west between 5 and 15, keeping the lake breeze from developing, so the temperatures are so nice and comfortable, even at the lakefront. 77 this evening, mostly clear, just a few clouds from those storms uh, up to the northwest of us, otherwise comfortable, a light southwest breeze. 65 by morning, does get a little bit more humid tomorrow, a high of 83. The dew points are still in the 50s, but off to the west, they're in the 60s, so that's where that little bit more humidity in the air comes in here and that will be here by tomorrow. We'll see humidity levels or dew points. I should say in the low to mid 60s through Thursday, so you'll notice a little bit more, but then a cold front Thursday night we will drop that air or like dry that air out. I should say by Friday, Saturday and Sunday tomorrow afternoon, upper 70s along the lakefront, lower 80s in the inland areas with some increasing clouds late in the afternoon. And then as we get towards evening, could see a few scattered sh thunder showers. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. As you can see, not a whole bunch of rain. Better chance of rain, though, as we get into Wednesday afternoon. Uh, still not widespread, but some scattered showers and thunder showers out there. Tonight, though, mostly clear. Enjoy it. Temperature dropping down to 64, 61 inland. And then for tomorrow, a little bit more humidity. Temperatures in the lower 80s once again. Uh, and we'll see uh, just a few clouds late in the day uh, with some scattered showers after sunset 78 with a few scattered showers on Wednesday. Right now, the best chance of rain looks to be Thursday afternoon for the start of the fair. Hopefully time that out a little bit better. Monday, a few sorry, Friday, a few scattered showers in 71 and look at the weekend mid 70s. Little little touch of fall. Okay. So, yeah, just nice, comfortable weather. Comfortable. Right. Okay, I'll go with comfortable. Slice of heaven. Thanks, you Brian. Got it.